Hey guys, Michael MGF here, and today I'm going to be doing another Halo Reach action figure review on the Series 2 Cat action figure from Noble Team. So, Cat is part of the official release. She's not part of the the uh, advanced wave, sorry. So, she's the official release, and yes guys, the official release is now out of Target, not just the advanced wave anymore. They, McFarlane has thankfully put out the official release of the new Series 2 figures. So now Carter's out, the white CQC, pretty much all the figures on the back of this box. So that's really good. I'm not exactly sure about the GameStop exclusive, but I know everything else is available at Target. I went to Target today, I got the Skirmisher, but I hate that figure so badly that I'm not even gonna show him, he sucks. I only like his needle rifle. Uh, I also did not find the Elite Officer, I was kinda disappointed, but I'm sure I'll find him eventually and review him. But, yeah, I also got the red CQC. I gave him the Skirmisher's needle rifle. I'm not going to review him because I already reviewed the white CQC. And basically, it's just going to be the same thing, only a different color. He's just red. So, anyways, off subject, on to Kat. She is probably tied with Carter, I have to say. She's a fantastic... I just love Mc how McFarlane made this. The There's only one flaw that I have with this figure overall. And it's that... If you notice with the male Spartan figures, their ankles can bend up and down, making it very easy for them to stand up. They took that away with Cat. She doesn't have that, and it makes it a little bit harder for her to stand up. You can see it's a little bit more difficult, but she will stand up. It's not as bad as the Skirmisher, who doesn't stand up at all. Um, so... Cat has a lot of detail. She, they colored her really well. It's not like the Noble Team statue where they kind of colored, made her a little bit inaccurate of a color. They really nailed her color on this figure, and they also, uh, you got the silver visor here. That's another great color. I, overall, this is a great figure. Probably the, the second best in uh, Series Two. Not really the second best. So I would have to say she has to tie with Carter. She has brand new shoulders. Both of them say the UNSC on them. Sorry if you can't make that out. You can kind of see it. It says UNSC. She has the little light thing or communicator. I don't know what that ex exactly is on the on her helmet there. She has the gray here. Little white stripe there with nice battle damage. UNSC symbol. Two white lines there. And sh if you guys haven't already noticed, she's a new female sculpt. McFarlane will be reusing this sculpt, only they will obviously will not have the robot arm. She comes with a brand new Magnum. And that's really nice. Best Magnum they've made, and it, it's like made for Cat. She holds it perfectly. And the robot arm, you would think it's flimsy, not at all. It's just it's just as sturdy as a normal arm. It's got lots of articulation. The articulation is overall the same exact thing as a male Spartan figure, except they took away the, the uh, articulation here, and they also took away, actually no, it's just the, the only difference is they took away the articulation in the feet and the arm is different. But overall, the arm, her hand, it can't bend back and forth, but it can swivel. So, but the male's Spartans, they can move back and forth, but that's okay. She has a pistol, it doesn't really matter. The robot arm has a lot of nice detail, as you see there, looks really nice. And then the back, you can give her like an assault rifle or something. Here, let me get an assault rifle, here we go. And then you can put an assault rifle on the back, right there, so that looks cool. But she does not come with that. I'm sure some of you guys have an assault rifle, so no worry there. Her chest is removable, not sure, I don't want to try to get that off now. But this arm is a little bit more loose than this one, but it doesn't really matter. If you hadn't already noticed, her hands are a completely new sculpt. And she pretty much overall has the same articulation. And then she has the default knees instead of uh, the secondary knees. I forgot the name of the knees. I don't remember. I normally only remember the chests and the helmets and the shoulder names. I don't remember the knees and wrist names and stuff like that. Then she has one of the hard cases, one of the medical things on her, uh, on her leg there, her thigh. 
And she, overall, she's a great figure. I have to give her a 5 out of 5. Maybe a 4.5 out of 5 because she took they took away the articulation in her feet. But it's got the nice caution signs. Overall, this is great detail. And you can see that she's obviously, it's a better, it's a good sculpt because you can see she's obviously thinner than a male Spartan. Making it look really good. So, okay, so what else is here? And obviously it's the air assault helmet. There's nothing really, oh yeah, she also comes with the frag grenade. Right there. Um, that's really it with this figure. She has, it's completely accurate. I cannot spot any mistakes on her besides that are the, uh, removal of articulation in her feet there. But that's really the only flaw with this figure. Other than that, she's a great figure. And, you see, it only took me a second to get her to stand up. But with a male figure, it would take me, like, two seconds. Wait. Well, that's because I messed up his, his feet there. Oh, wow. I just totally messed up my judgment there. <laughs> but they do, both figures do stand up well. Anyways, um, that's really it for this figure. She has the nice white striping there. So it's kind of interesting how the blue and the silver kind of combine right there. The belt... Yeah, and they took away the hole there, so that's not a problem. That doesn't look weird anymore. And if you're wondering what the hole I'm talking about, I'm talking about that hole. I don't know why they put that there in Series 1, but... Anyways, that is it for Cat, And she she has, just like I said many times, a lot of detail, and she looks great. Oh, I noticed one flaw there. The blue goes right into the floodlight slash um, radio communicator thing. That's no good. But... That's the only two flaws that I, that I saw, the ankle, is the articulation in the feet and the paint splash on the um, floodlight slash communicator thing. Um, sorry if I kind of screwed up the names in this video of specific armor pieces, <laughs> um, but I'm not a genius when it comes to it. Anyways, before I end this video, I just want to go over what I've been doing for this week. This week I went to Barnes & Noble, I bought a bunch of... Star Wars magazines, I read through those. They got a lot of nice information about, in interviews, about the next Clone Wars episodes that are coming up next week. Really ex excited for those, so that'll be really good. Um, one last thing I want to mention is JPO 1997. It would be nice if you could go to thebrickhelper.com. It's a really nice website where you can look up any news and look up cool creations about anything LEGO. They always, if there's any news on LEGO, they'll have it up first. So, there'll be a link to their his awesome website in the description below. It's a pretty popular website. I recommend you go check it out. So, that's, I just wanted to point that out to you guys. Alright guys, that's really it for this figure. And that's all I've really done this week. I also got a white Boba Fett from a friend on Flickr. I'm not gonna really going to review that. There's no point. I finished my, Geno my Geonosis mock. I'll most likely do a video on that. So, just giving you guys quick updates on that stuff. Alright, so that's all I've been doing this week. I'll see you guys in the next video which will hopefully be the lead officer review if I find him. But I don't know what my next video will be. By the way, I will be remaking command my Commander Gaunch. So he's the next custom clone that I will be making. And sorry that I really haven't made any custom clones in a while. It's just I barely have any ideas. So there's a few ideas that I have in my head, but it's kind of hard to get decals from JPO 1997. One, money. Two, they're hard to make, and he doesn't make them that often. So, but that's really it for this figure, and quick update. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Balls to you! <laughs>